Green finance is probably a concept not familiar to most people. So, what exactly is it? Green finance refers to financing of investment activities that deliver environmental benefits. These benefits may include a reduction in air pollution, water pollution, land contamination, and reduction in greenhouse gas emission, as well as energy efficiency enhancement. If anyone is qualified to lend his opinion on this subject, it's Dr. Ma Jun. He's a chief economist at China Central Bank, or the PBOC, and has been leading China's promotion of green finance since 2014. When China decided it would be a major topic of discussion at this year's summit, he was invited to be part of a dedicated study group. At the end of last year, uh, when China took over as a presidency for G20, we proposed to include green finance as one of the topics for G20 discussion. And we also proposed to launch the G20 Green Finance Study Group. And uh, the study group has so far uh, developed seven options for countries to consider in uh, uh, enhancing the ability of the financial system to mobilize the capital for green investment. Given the massive demand for green investment, which could be in the range of a multi-trillion dollars per year globally, the potential to scale up green finance is very significant. Experts say that the key is to identify and overcome the challenges facing the development of green finance. Globally, uh, demand for green investment is huge. According to a number of studies, uh, the uh, green investment demand may range <clears throat> anywhere between three to seven trillion US dollars per year. But uh, the current green finance market is still very small in size. For example, the uh, label green bond issuance is only less than 1% of the total bond issuance. In the uh, credit market, um, a few percent of the uh, lending is classified as green loans in a few countries where statistics are available. The study group put forward a number of recommendations for the G20 on how to create an environment to mobilize private capital for green investment. One of their suggestions was to facilitate cross-border investment in green bonds, where proceeds would fund environment-friendly projects. Hong Nat CCTV, Beijing.